Today in our 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, we'll be having a look at our best trailer hitch options. Okay, we have three different hitches here today that fit the Santa Fe Sport. If you have a different model, such as the GLS or the Limited, we do have different hitches available for those two vehicles. So just feel free to check out our website and find the appropriate one for those models. Up top, we have the eTrailer.com Class 3 hitch. Below that, we have the Kurt Class 3 hitch. And at the bottom, we have the Draw Tight Class 3 hitch. First, we'll give you a brief summary. As far as weight capacity goes, we found that the e-trailer and the Kurt hitch were the winners here because they do feature a higher weight capacity than the draw tight hitch does. As far as appearance goes, we found the e-trailer hitch to be the winner here because the better finish on the hitch, being more scratch and rust resistant, will maintain a nice clean look underneath our vehicle for a much longer time than the other hitches. Now, in my personal opinion, if I was gonna be buying a hitch for the Santa Fe, I would first decide what I'm using it for. If I was going to be using it strictly for a bike rack or a cargo carrier, then I would definitely go for the eTrailer.com hitch because it does have the best finish and does have higher capacities for loading on heavy bikes on the back of my vehicle. Won't have any issues there. Now, if I was going to be towing a trailer, I'd be going for the draw tight hitch for a couple different reasons. Since the wiring resides outside the vehicle on the Santa Fe, and you have to have trailer wiring in order to safely and legally tow a trailer. I like the fact that this hitch comes with the attachment point for mounting the wiring. It's one less thing I have to worry about purchasing. And not only that, but this hitch, even though it does have lower weight capacities than the other two, it still exceeds what the vehicle is rated for. So it's gonna be able to tow any trailer that the Santa Fe is capable of pulling. The first biggest difference that we found between our hitches here today is in regards to weight capacity. Both our e-trailer hitch and our Kurt hitch have a significantly higher weight capacity than our draw tight hitch. The e-trailer and the Kurt hitch feature a 900 pound max tongue weight rating with a 6,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. They both support the use of weight distribution the tongue weight rating stays the same at 900 pounds, but the max gross trailer weight rating increases to 8,000 pounds when you're using weight distribution on your trailer. Whereas on the draw tight hitch, it has a 525 pound max gross tongue weight rating and a 3,500 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Its weight distribution numbers are 525 pounds for the tongue weight rating and 5,250 pounds for the max gross trailer weight rating. So as you can see, it is significantly less than the Kurt and the e-trailer hitch. So what these numbers mean with the e-trailer hitch and the Kurt hitch having higher capacities, when it comes to recreational use, you can load more gear on the back of your Santa Fe without having to worry about causing damage to the vehicle. And when it comes to towing a trailer, you'll be able to tow a heavier trailer without causing any damage to the hitch or the vehicle. As always, you wanna make sure you do consult with the owner's manual of your Santa Fe and not exceed what the vehicle's rated for. Go by whichever number's less. One other slight difference that we noticed in regards to towing is that our draw tight hitch here has this bracket that's welded onto the hitch, which serves as an attachment point for any of our wiring harnesses. This is great because wiring harnesses on the Santa Fe are designed to be stored outside the vehicle. So this gives you a solid attachment point so you don't have to worry about it flopping around and dragging on the ground underneath your vehicle. That being said, with our Kurt and our e-trailer hitch, since they don't have those brackets attached from the factory, we do have options available on our website to clamp a bracket to your hitch to serve the same purpose. Another slight difference that we notice in regards to recreational use is that our draw tight hitch here has an additional pin hole, which is a J-pin stabilization device hole. That's the smaller hole closer to the end of the receiver here. And what that is, is an anti-rattle device, which will help take away the annoying shake play and rattle out of what's inserted to your receiver. A lot of bike racks and cargo carriers out there, they do have anti-rattle devices built into them. So you don't need to worry about using a J-pin device for them. But if your bike rack or cargo carrier does not, you can use one to take that away. Now while our Kurt and our e-trailer hitch, they don't have a J-pin hole, there are alternate means of anti-rattle prevention that we sell on our website. We have many different products that'll work with either one of these hitches. 
Another difference that we notice between our hitches is in regards to appearance. You can see how our Kurt and our draw tight hitch, they have a glossy finish, whereas our eTrailer.com hitch, it has a matte black carbide powder coat finish. So it's much more scratch and rust resistant. As you'll notice on the Santa Fe that we have in here today, we have the draw tight hitch installed. You can see a few of the slight differences with the J pin hole and our wiring bracket welded on. But other than that, the three hitches are gonna look identical underneath the vehicle. We're gonna have a small section that's visible underneath it in the middle underneath the fascia and the rest of it's hidden behind the fascia. So while even though this hitch is visible, you can see how tight it tucks up against the fascia, giving us the most ground clearance possible and helping maintain a clean look underneath our vehicle. As far as similarities go, these hitches are all very similar. They all have nice collars that are welded on to give us a nice finished look and to help improve the strength of the receiver opening. They all have the same safety chain attachment points with this plate style design underneath the receiver is a very large opening on all of the hitches which we can easily clip on and remove a very large diameter safety chain hook like this one. All three of these hitches are going to install the exact same way in your Santa Fe with no drilling or modification of the car required at all. And that'll complete our look at the best trailer hitch options for the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. We hope you find this video helpful and informative in your trailer hitch purchasing decision.